Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how we can create some really cool isometric, kind of like toy style renders. I don't really know what they're called. Uh, and I'm wearing a hat and a coat because it's really cold in my house. Um, there's no heating on. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So these are the kind of renders that we're going to be able to produce. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set this up so you can do it for yourself. Uh, this is my home office that I created. And this is actually, I built this office within one of my Skillshare classes. So if you want to check out my Skillshare class, please do. Link below, one month free. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we can create these cool little renders, little dire. I don't know what they're called, like a diorama maybe. Not really sure. And this is entirely inspired by uh, Joshua Tron off uh, Reddit. So if you're on the SketchUp Reddit page, uh, sorry, Joshua Tron. He's got a difficult name to say. But Joshua Tron put this up and I was like, whoa, that's... That's really cool. Um, let me have a go at that. I basically took my home office that I created recently. I applied the same principles and we get this. And so it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you how to do it for yourself. Uh, we're gonna use SketchUp and you can basically render it out in any, any other program that you've got. You might not even really need to render it out. You can just do this with SketchUp, but it won't look as, as cool. So I'm gonna set it up now and we will move from here. Okay. So, hopefully you've got a model that you want to create this effect with. Um, if you don't, then maybe build a room. This is actually a bathroom that I designed uh, for my house. That's not been built, obviously. But this was a, a design and a process that I, again, did in one of my Skillshare classes. So again, check it out if you want to. Uh, so what we essentially want to do is create that. Basically, we have a camera that has uh, a pretty, sh I think it's either a shallow depth of field. Sorry, not a depth of field, field of view. So in order to do that, you basically come out about 45 degrees uh, and then you go to camera and then we just go to field of view. And what we want to do is kind of make it pretty low angle field of view. You can see I'm just clicking and dragging and my field of view is changing in the bottom right hand corner. So let's just leave it like about 15 for now. Then what I'm going to do is just hide, hide these walls. And already we're kind of creating that effect. I might actually leave the door in there. It looks quite funny with the door. No, let's go to the door. That looks pretty cool. I'm probably going to leave the, <clears throat> excuse me, leave the SketchUp man. Put him in the shower. No, I'll put him here. He's just there. Uh, it's just kind of, actually, I mean, you're going to use this image as a thumbnail for, uh, yeah, one of my skill care classes. So I have a man in there just to show that this is within SketchUp, essentially. So that's, I mean, that's basically it. You just change your field of view and you could then just click render. But I'm gonna do a few more things and uh, I'll show you those now. One of the things Jockeycon did, it was he created this kind of floor. I'm gonna do the same and I did that on my render here. You can see it's, there's, you know, if we rendered that out now on our on our SketchUp model, what we'd get is just the floating house. We won't have those nice shadows uh, being created on the, on the floor. So what I'm gonna do for that is just, I'm, I'm gonna use an infinite plane. So within V-Ray, click on infinite plane. And I'm basically gonna put it on our floor and then what I'm going to do is just move it down a little bit so we've got that kind of gap yeah 145 and then actually what I'm going to do is probably add a bit of thickness to our floor just because I think it looks a bit cooler when you do that something like that yeah maybe just bring this out as well obviously you need to have all your materials assigned correctly as well so you can't just render any old model uh, it needs, it's going to need to have V-Ray materials or whatever rendering program materials you're using in order to make it look nice. So we'll do that, and then what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to I'm going to paint that infinite plane. So when we render that out, that will create that infinite plane. But I'm just going to apply uh, probably just this kind of wall paint, uh, wall paint, grey, blue. Yeah, I'm just going to apply this. So if I right click, add scene. In my bucket click on my bucket and then i just click on my plane that should now be that white now i can run a render and see what it looks like so i've just run a quick render but i mean it's fine but my shadows are way off so this is like an older version of my model so i haven't actually you know used uh the more up-to-date v-ray on it but i'm actually going to just mess around with these shadows make them look a bit better uh, and then I'll show you what I've done. So I'm just gonna change the shadow position from, you know, that side. I want it more coming up to 45 degree. Hmm. So we might have to actually rotate the model. 
Hmm, I mean, that's a bit better, isn't it? Nope. I've actually just put a dome light in, so I'm just going to have a play with this quickly. So I'm going to do use transform. Probably want that. And then my sunlight. Okay, this is kind of the problem. It's, it's really... Uh, it's not big enough, so if I do 10, that will soften up the shadows a lot. Like that. Intensity multiplier. It's probably intense enough, to be honest. Let's do 20. Pretty soft. Color. Yeah, I like the bit of color in it. I could leave it... I could direct. Maybe do a custom orientation as well, so if I do... Um, so probably want it like that. I guess I played around with the, I guess it's called, yeah, it's the sunlight, right? The sunlight position, and we've kind of got the right position now. And we've got these far softer shadows, but my window's not working. So I'm gonna have to change that. Uh, and these textures, I mean, they're all right, but they're not the best. So I might just go into this a little bit and just tune it up, make it look. Muchos buenos. Uh, give me one sec. So I've just like adjusted my lighting, I'm pretty happy with it now. And it's going to take a few tweaks to get it to that, give it that kind of effect. Uh, but a little, another thing you can do is turn on your depth of field on your camera. So if I turn my depth of field on and then if I pick a point, so I'm going to try and do like the middle of the room. So, I mean this kind of like shower glass bit, probably in the middle of the room. I can click on that, uh, does that work? Yeah, so our focal distance now 750, now if I just put the defocus up, Probably to about you know 485 you can always adjust it you'll see that like the edges hopefully will start defocusing a little bit i'll run that render and we can see and we can adjust so my final field of view was 11.39 degrees that's the one that i think looks looked the best uh, i had a little play with the lighting again just to get the lighting looking right and then i actually moved that kind of floor up a little bit it was actually too low also i made it green so it might look cool and i'll show you what we've got boom so we've got that in a moment we can actually just adjust the exposure i was maybe going to put the exposure up a little bit uh, my only gripe with this is that the interior is quite dark interior so it's the, the walls are gray and the tiles are gray so it's there's not much light going on in there you could put another omni light in there i did chuck one in but it's not really made much difference but yeah if we zoom in we can kind of see that depth of field uh thing happening so we'll have you know this is kind of in focus and this is kind of out of focus it just adds a nice little touch i think uh just another little layer of you know complexity to the render but yeah that's how you do it so the keys are you need a room with uh, some good good uh textures within it uh, so these textures probably could be a bit better. I think the more complex the room is, the, the better it looks because then it is like really detailed and it looks really small. So if we go back to my, my other one, my office one, I think this one's a little bit better because it's just a bit more detailed. Um, and, you know, I spent a lot of time on this model. So I think that pays off in the long run. But that's the idea. You, uh, you come at it at about 45 degrees, um, set up your scene, set up your lighting, quick render. And there you have it, you've got a a pretty cool little dire, I don't know what, what we're going to call these, like a isometric view diorama, like a toy, I don't know, okay, but I like it, it's cool, it's a cool look, and um, Josh and Tron, thank you for the inspiration, I uh, hope you're doing well, and yeah guys, that's, that's all I've got really, uh, if you want to check out any of my Skillshare classes, where I go in depth on 3D modelling within SketchUp, V-Ray, rendering, uh, a whole bunch of different things use my link below you get one month free and i hope you have a good day and i hope you enjoyed this little video or whatever this thing is um and yeah maybe subscribe as well because i'll try to put out some little cool videos every now and then all right peace out have a good month